for what? Side of the bed, I kind of am sprawling. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. Yeah. Okay, um. I guess I'm hoping this <laughs> I hope your version starts here. Like right now. Do you have your phone? Where? So this turned out to be completely different than we thought. Currently it's 8 in the morning and we don't like that. We don't like morning wake ups. But anyway, I'm gonna be induced as you know already and uh, we're going to the hospital right now. I'm not gonna be giving birth probably until tomorrow but you need to go early, make sure you check in with your staff, blah, blah, blah. I think I'm freaking out but I'm also very excited. I don't know what he's going through but that's a topic for another time. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Whew. I don't even have pain and I feel like someone is gonna just give me pain and I don't like it but at the same time I feel like I'm going on holidays okay. yeah. Is it even ours? Yes <laughs> Yeah
so it's currently 2 p.m. Um, I just got a little bracelet that it says that I'm here. You know what I mean. I just settled in the room and I'm ready to get induced. My husband's not here, but I'm gonna be waiting for the nurses to tell me, hey, this is the time for you to have the little balloon injected in your JJ. I'm really clueless. I'm improvising and I'm just going with the flow. There's nothing else I can do. I don't think birth will start until tonight or tomorrow. But yeah, rather than that, I really love my room. As you can see, I make sure I'm gonna have fun here. I don't have any other update. The baby's fine. We're zen, we're calm, and I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna let you know to the next update of what's gonna happen. Okay, so this is gonna be very hard to film. Uh, it's currently 10.04. They actually put a little balloon in me right now. I immediately started having contractions and I'm only filming this now because later on I won't be able to talk. Oh, oh. So let's just hope I will give birth like tonight. Oh, how is this the mild contractions? Yeah, I'm gonna call my husband now. Oh. Hi. Oh, oh my god, you have no idea. Ah. Uh, the balloon. The balloon. Yeah. Yeah, but baby already started having contractions. Ready to come in. No, but you might. I might give birth tonight. Ooh. What do they say? Do I have to come in or no? Even if you come, they're not gonna allow you to come here in my room. Just one second. Just one second. Wait. My little baby. I cry. Oh God, my little baby. Uh -huh. They told me to move around and do some stuff. Ah, oh, and it hurts like my period exactly the same. You know when I'm really bad with my periods and this is just like the beginning. I'm yes. freaking out. I can't sleep with this type of contraction. So it was 10.07, the last contraction. So I need to prepare before I go to the delivery room. Uh, oh. I don't think I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna try, but I don't think I'm gonna sleep tonight. I won't do. Okay, so snacks. I'm gonna bring my sleeping mask. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm tired. I can't even start and I'm sleepy. But you're not scared or something. Ah, no, I'm never scared. said I need to try to sleep how the hell am I gonna sleep oh, oh, oh so I'm currently calculating my contractions yeah they keep coming every five minutes to be honest and it's just 53 minutes since they put that balloon inside I'm just waiting for the next contraction the current is gonna be here in like two minutes I'm probably gonna go there 
and I'm gonna say, hey, I'm having contractions every five minutes, and they're gonna say, oh, you're only two centimeters <laughs> dilate. Good thing is they gave me some painkillers. I don't know if it helps, but we figure it out. Nothing helps. <laughs> I think I'm giving birth, and they don't believe. Me. Okay, now it's been six minutes forty-four. Oh. Let's see what happens next. It's currently 6.20 in the morning. I didn't really <laughs> sleep last night, but thank God the contractions, they stopped. No, they shouldn't have stopped. They should have kept going so I can give birth. That's the bad thing. Now I have to go to the delivery room and they have to put oxytocin and continue the birth in that way. In the meantime, my husband will come and arrive. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. I couldn't sleep all night and not because of the pain, but mainly because of the fact that I'm freaking out <laughs> because these were my mild contractions. But anyway, just a little update, nothing happened yet. And I wish I could have slept more than three hours, but I didn't, but I have strength in me, yeah. Just wish me luck. I think once my husband is here, I'm gonna feel much better. Fingers crossed, everything is gonna be okay. Let's see. So passed out. Oh yeah, I passed out because I was laying on my nerve, and then I started going like, and then I came back to life. I am a warrior, right? Yeah. Do you see me as a warrior? Yeah. How do you feel? I almost passed out. As <laughs> <laughs> You're more dramatic than me. You're like yeah. You have a very colorful machine next to you. <laughs> Look at you, is that stuff, this stuff in the nose? So apparently the baby was on a bay and he wouldn't get oxygen and then they had to move him around but it was so scary because his heartbeat was going low and I was feeling dizzy and stuff so yeah, this is ah, how it is oh, 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 I'm about to throw up. Now I just feel pressure, but not much way. Oh, like I'm gonna poop myself. <laughs> they said we might have the baby by last time, and now it's 10 to 11. Yeah, in an hour. Hopefully, very soon. Okay. I look horrible. <laughs> Epidural really, really helped. I can finally rest a little. Keep screaming. It hurts. You're so annoyed. <laughs> it's okay. 
you're like eight centimeter wide open, you're in shitloads of pain. That's what's going on. You don't like it. Also, you threw up. What has happened? Ah, yeah, and you peed yourself. Yeah. Positive birth experience. You can do this. Yeah. Very Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 